So this past week, Chance and I went to go see Han Solo, A Star Wars Story. And I have been so excited to see this movie because I love Han Solo, but when we went to go see it, I was shocked because not a single other person was in the theater. I'm so used to it being jam-packed, especially with the last couple of Star Wars movies. It's always crazy, hard to get tickets, super, super busy the first opening week. Needless to say, I was shocked it was not packed. But it was kind of nice to have the theater by ourselves. After we saw the movie, I thought I would make a video. Did I like it? Did I hate it? Should you go see it? Should you just stay at home? So I will get into that. Also, I just want to talk about some reasons I love Star Wars. Also, if you don't like Star Wars, but you maybe want to give it a try, some tips for you. So hopefully this will, um, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry, I need to grab some water really quick. <coughs> As I was saying, if you don't like Star Wars, or you think you don't like Star Wars, and haven't seen any of the movies yet, then maybe this video can change your mind, because I love Star Wars. So firstly, I just want to talk about Star Wars in general, why I like it, um, why you should watch Star Wars even if you think you shouldn't, or you don't like it. When I was younger, I remember my dad showing me the first Star Wars movies that ever came out, so that would be... A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. So those are not the first movies in the Star Wars series in chronological order. Those are actually episodes 4, 5, and 6, which blows a lot of people's minds who are new to Star Wars. They did not make the movies in chronological order, which I personally think is really cool because that allows them to have the opportunity and room to create more movies. So the first three movies that ever came out were what started the Star Wars fan base and what got people super hyped. Those feature Chewbacca, Leia, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader. Those showed all the main Star Wars characters that people know and love today and have loved for many, many years. So I remember my dad showing me those when I was younger. I always liked the Star Wars movies growing up, but it wasn't until the last five years or so that I've really fallen in love with the Star Wars movies. Being a little bit older and having the capability to actually latch on to the plot and understand everything has definitely helped a lot. Maybe take that into account if you have never liked the Star Wars movies. If you watched them when you were younger and haven't really given them a chance later on, maybe it's time to try watching them again. Also, I'm not gonna lie, what kickstarted my love for Star Wars again was Episode 7, The Force Awakens, which was one of the newest Star Wars movies that came out in, I think, came out in 2015 going into 2016, so that was in December. It brought back characters that we've always loved and introduced some new ones that I'm obsessed with. One of those being, oh shoot, hold on, drop my phone. Let me go grab that. Got it. Oh man, that really put a crink in my neck. Ow. I loved Rey in The Force Awakens. She's the bomb dot Calm. And that brings me to one thing I love about Star Wars, and that is they have some strong female characters. Also along those lines, the Star Wars movies inspire bravery, and for all those people who want to be heroes out there to stand up for what they believe in, just stay true to themselves, and to fight against what is wrong and support what is good. That is definitely a huge part of the plot lines in almost every Star Wars movie, which is awesome. Like, how can you not love that? If you haven't seen the Star Wars movies and you don't think you will like them, or you have seen the first ones made, what I would recommend doing is watching them in chronological order. I recently did this these past two or so months. I watched almost every Star Wars movie in chronological order leading up to the Han Solo release, which I will get into. I really liked doing this because if I'm being honest with you all, I had only seen episode three one time and I don't even think I ever watched one or two. So doing that really A, helped me understand the plot to Star Wars a lot better, of course, and B, so many people that are avid Star Wars fans really complain about the first episodes and don't like them and blah 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 blah. So I got to develop my own opinion on the fact and if I'm being honest, I liked them a lot. 
And episode two might actually be one of my favorite Star Wars movies. So the three episodes we started with were one, two, and three. In order, those go The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith. And how you know I was not a true Star Wars fan was I did not know Stormtroopers were originally good guys. So to learn that and the whole history behind that was pretty fascinating to me. So maybe try watching them in chronological order. You'd be surprised how much that helps. Also, it was crazy to see like the development of Anakin throughout those movies and to see how he ended up becoming. So I've talked through why I like Star Wars, ways you could maybe possibly get into the movies and start loving them as much as I do. I would like to get into Han Solo. So I have seen all of the most recent Star Wars movies, including Rogue One, which is another Star Wars story that was released in between The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. I did like Han Solo, A Star Wars Story. What I have come to realize over the last couple of years with all of these new Star Wars movies coming out is there are those avid Star Wars fans that are going to hate on every Star Wars movie that is not 4, 5, and 6. Majority of those people are people who grew up with the original three Star Wars movies, are just so in love with them, they can't look past changes or anything new coming into the Star Wars realm. I understand you may disagree with me and say that that's, that's not it, they just suck and there's so many other reasons why the Star Wars movies recently are not good. Star Wars is definitely different from what it originally was. One of the main reasons I love Star Wars is it brings so many people together and there are so many new generations of people out there who did not grow up with the original Star Wars movies that also want to love Star Wars. And Disney did take over Lucasfilm, so that has made Star Wars different. But what it has done is brought in new generations who will also love Star Wars, and those new generations will keep that love burning super bright. I guarantee it. I liked the Han Solo movie because it did bring to light Han Solo's life just a slight bit more. We got to see Han Solo solo, which was super cool. I would have liked to see him a little bit younger. Would have liked to see his adolescent years. It seems like though they are going to be making more Han Solo movies, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe we'll get to see that more in the future. There is a part in the end of the movie where Amelia Clark's character is talking to a previous villain. which definitely confused me a little, but also is opening a whole new plot to the movies. I guess we'll be seeing more of those two characters in the future. One major thing I did not like about the movie was the fact that it is very Guardians of the Galaxy, but luckily it wasn't a huge part of the movie. It didn't ruin it for me. It was still really cute and funny. Don't let that stop you. It was still a great movie. Besides that though, it was a good movie. It was funny, lighthearted, not as serious as other Star Wars movies out there. It's a nice Star Wars flick to kick back and just relax to and not get lost in a super complex plot. The biggest reason I think this movie did not do well was for the reason I just said. I think they were trying to do a sense of humor that didn't entirely fit for the movie, only in some parts. I also think that Deadpool 2, which is a huge movie right now, and Avengers Infinity War, which just came out last month, are still in theaters. So that is really, really, really hurting Han Solo. If you don't think you're gonna like it, maybe wait till it's not in theaters anymore and give it a watch at home. I still think it's a great movie to watch. And keep in mind, there's tons of people out there who didn't like The Force Awakens or the first three episodes of Star Wars, and I think those are great movies to each their own. Nala, what are you doing over there? Oh my gosh, she's climbing on something. Hold on, we gotta go get the kitty. Let's go get her. There you are, Nala. What were you doing over there? Were you giving Luke Skywalker a hard time? <laughs> she hates me. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys go out there and watch Han Solo, A Star Wars Story. If you've already seen it and have any opinions on it, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about them. I loved an excuse to make a Star Wars video. This has been awesome. All right guys, I'll see you in my next video.